Sam and Vince Schutte are old friends. Sam is a wild black bear. He started raiding Vince's cabin in Minnesota many years ago. He was hungry after a poor berry crop and began stealing to supplement his diet. Vince started to feed him, and he's been back for handouts every year since. Vince extended the favor to other struggling bears. Sam is now one of many that realize they're onto a good thing and come back year after year. Many years, and several bear generations later, Vince's backyard is overrun with expectant diners. In autumn, as many as 90 bears gather from miles around and demand to be fed. Volunteers need to stay on their toes. A single quick-witted bear could mug them and steal the lot. At this time of year, bears need 20,000 calories a day, the equivalent of 50 burgers. Hundreds of tourists turn up every day to witness the spectacle. It's a unique chance to see wild bears up close and personal. But is it right to hand wild bears their food on a plate? Have we turned these bears into a circus act? And should we really be encouraging bears to become this obese? Unlike humans, bears can never be too fat. They're adapted to cope with massive fluctuations in weight with no long-term health problems. One thing that does change is their need to hibernate. Many of these bears continue feeding long after bears relying on wild foods are forced into their dens. The real problem is that these bears have learnt to associate people with food. So if the sanctuary ever closed, most would head straight for the nearest town and would probably be shot. With our romanticised view of nature, we prefer to watch bears in the wild. But bears don't know the difference. Certainly, these cubs will make no distinction between town and country, or burgers and berries. <laughs> 